So this is 6.2 number 15, and you're asked to find the area bounded by three functions, the sine of x, the cosine of x, and the x-axis, so basically that green shaded region. Now, as you do this, you'll notice something here. And let me draw. So here is a rectangle over here. The height is the black function minus the x-axis. But when you get to this portion here, something changes. The height, oh, what just happened? I don't understand, it's lagging. Try that again. Here's, okay, let's try over here. There we go. So you should notice the height here is black function minus x-axis. Here is red function minus x-axis. And by the way, the x-axis is y equals zero. That's the function for the x-axis. You should know that. And so you're going to have two separate integrals because something changes right here. It's at this point here that the rectangles change. And so first of all, you need to find that intersection point. And I can't remember if this was calculator. It's actually a non-calculator. You can do this on a calculator if it was a calculator problem, but you need to be able to do this without a calculator. Now, you would have to say, first step, where do they intersect? Where does sine x equal cosine x? And you should know that's a 45 degree angle, so pi over four, right? Sine x, cosine x are the same in a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So you should be able to, with this one, say, oh, I know that. That occurs at x equals pi over 4. Now, some might say, what if I wanted to solve it? So how would you solve that equation without just knowing that? This is one of the ones where it's kind of tricky. You have to know divide both sides by cosine x, not subtract cosine x. Then you would get tan x equals 1. And knowing your unit circle, when does tan x equal one? Well, you should know it's a 45 degree or a pi over four, and it's positive, so it's first or third quadrant. But if you look at this, it's the first time it occurs, so it's gonna be in the first quadrant. So in this case, you would still know x is pi over four. So I know this is pi over four, and how do I find my area? I have to add all the rectangles. How do you add? You integrate, starting at zero, and again, that's not given. So technically on this one, you'd have to say, hey, when is sine x equals zero? And you should know zero pi dot, dot, dot. Therefore, you know that's zero. We're gonna stop at pi over four because at this point, those are the rectangles black minus the x-axis. So what's the black function? It's gonna be sine x. What's the x-axis, zero. And then I have to add to that all the rectangles starting at pi over four, ending at pi over two. So it's gonna be pi over four to pi over two. And what's the top function? It's cosine x and the bottom function is y equals zero. So it's gonna be cosine x minus zero dx. And then it's just a matter of finding the antiderivatives and applying the fundamental theorem and that's Problem number 15.